Hello everybody, welcome back to MZ Adventures. My name is Zach and today we are continuing uh, CSI, or otherwise known as Crime Scene Investigation. Uh, we're moving on to case two, which is Light My fi Fire. So, strap yourselves in, get yourselves comfy. This is going to be a nice, another long episode because I like to do it case by case. And let's see what glitches and stuff we have in store for today. investigate another crime. Sarah will meet you on the site and give you the details. She's one of our best. You can learn a lot from her. Looks like somebody's been playing with matches. What we seem to have here is a break-in and arson. According to his statement, Jason Gray, the homeowner, left his house around 11.30 p.m. to go for a run. He was gone for a little over an hour, came back to find his home office ablaze. Got the fire out, but lost most of his office gear, computer, desk, the works. We've already canvassed the neighborhood, but nobody saw anything or anybody suspicious. Wish I had more for you. That's what we're here for, officer. We'll start processing the scene, but we're going to want to chat with Mr. Gray. Sorry we had to meet here at the scene. I'm Sarah Seidel. Glad you could come aboard CSI. It was getting kind of old being the new kid myself. Anyway, I hear good things about you. We're going to pair up just fine. Woo! All right, let's start with actually this. Accelerants, things that started the fire. This looks like a typical burn pattern. Lots of charred samples and residual gas in the air. Don't we have a s not infrared sniffer? Are you sure you haven't done this before? Little luck. Greg will tell us something useful from the sample. Haha. <laughs> All right. Uh. Hmm. Fire could have started here. House fires typically double in size every 30 seconds. Gray seems to have gotten to it pretty quickly. Hmm. It's colored and rounded. Definitely not window glass. Well, let's use our gloves. Collect it. Looks like some burned wood scraps. All right. What about using... Beautiful. Hydrocarbons and most other accelerants fluoresce under ultraviolet light. This is a good sample for Gray. There we go. Uh, and then, of course, we gotta collect them because they're evidence. Or at least one of them. Alright. Oh, telephone. Button. Maybe we should find out who the last person was on the other end. Sure. Yeah, leave a message. Pleasant. Sounds like Ray keeps good company. I have a piece of paper Every here. Every fire has its share of survivors. This is not one of them. If the perps were grabbing up Gray's papers before lighting them, we might find a survivor. Fingerprints. Too fragile to dust, but there's other ways to check for prints. Yeah, and it's called, uh... Detection... There we go. There we go. Got the shit. That's broken glass. That's you. Ooh. Rag fragments. Smells greasy. 
I don't imagine Mr. Gray was working on his car in here, do you? Ever hear of a Molotov cocktail? That's one yep. part rag, one part bottle, and one part liquid accelerant. Could be what started this fire. Could be. We just need to find out. What's this? This lighter's an antique, so maybe it's just a collectible, but the cap's been screwed off and it's empty. Anything that could have started this fire is important. Collect it. We need to use some casting material. Does that look like a shoe print to you? Me neither. Cast it. Maybe Gray can give us a lab rat's eye view that'll tell us what the heck it is. Grissom says let the evidence tell the story. So, if this window was broken from here, why so many shards outside? All right, I think we collected all the evidence. Any relevant evidence. I mean, we should collect, Glass I guess. The floor could mean the window was broken from outside. So our arsonist could have been standing just outside that window before the fun began. We can't use that here. Okay. I'm Jason Gray. You the officers who wanted to speak with me? We're with the Las Vegas Crime Lab, Mr. Gray. Criminalists. Sorry about your house. We just have a few questions. Anything I can do to help. I hope there's some chance you can find whoever did this to me. So what happened here, good sir? Well, as I told the officer, I went out to get a little exercise. I do this when I can't sleep. It must have been around 11.30 because it was after the news. At any rate, I wasn't gone for much more than an hour. Hour 15 at the most. But as I was walking home, I could see a strange manage to put the fire out. Well, I haven't taken a complete inventory, but obviously my computer, and with it, all my files and research. What was the straight? database. It'll take months to reconstruct it all. I should have kept backup disks in a safe deposit box, but damn hindsight. Maliciously, you mean? No, I don't know, really. Not unless yeah, your insurance. Well, person, uh, do you know anyone who might want to do this? James Ritchie. He's my biggest rival in the field. Aviation design. Anyway, we go way back. He's got several offices around town. I couldn't hazard a guess where he'd be right now. Yes, of course. Kind of a keepsake I'd misplaced. Thanks for finding Do you know where we might find James Ritchie? Hmm. Really? Okay. Do you recognize the slider, good sir? We got an arson case and need some test run. Well, and it's a pleasure You're welcome. to see you too, Sarah. But well, I guess that's everything that we can question you about. So seven. let's go to the... I give, give, give. You take... Go. How about I make it up to you by giving you this evidence to analyze for us? Somehow I don't think I'm making my point. So, you got a hot case, huh? <laughs> You're gonna love this. It's as simple as ABC. A, it's lighter fluid. Well, B, let's see. Let's give fluid. you the fumes. It's fuel oil number one family. Or C, it's both. Well, what this isn't is a shoe print. It may be a knee print, but I'm fresh out of knee print databases, so I can't do much with it at the moment. Casting impression. That's wine bottle glass. I could have told you that back in my college days. What I couldn't have told you is the chemical composition is very similar to what glass about used the bottle the, back one family hmm. to boot. Where's the colored glass? Right there, colored glass. Do I have to tell you it's a lighter? And that it once contained lighter fluid?
Judging by the radial fractures and hackle marks, you've got a window broken in with a great deal of the lighter. Force. Funny thing is, funny peculiar, I mean. It was traveling away from Thank the Thank you, smart ass. What we have here is a rag containing the delicate bouquet of fuel oil number one family, an accelerant. But it's a popular rag with lots of other party guests. Dirt, grease, and a turbine oil used only in... And one more tasty tidbit for you. One of which can only be found in Guatemala, while the other is native to northern regions of... Now that I've compared it to the earlier sample, I can say without question, it was aviation jet fuel. Rag, jet fuel, and a broken bottle. One Molotov cocktail coming right up, or that is, apart. Hey guys, what's up? Traces of accelerant. Huh. What you have here is lighter fluid. Interesting, interessante. Hmm. These hackle marks tell us a lot of force was used to break the window, and that the outside surface was traveling away from the source of impact. Uh -huh. Fancy way of saying that window was broken from the inside. Hmm. And then I gotta go to the. So let's go under the microscope. We have an APHIS match to James Ritchie, charged with insurance fraud four years ago. Case was dropped, however. Hmm. Then we gotta go and do a search on this fingerprint. That'd be well, trace. Search. Seems Mr. Ritchie has a prior for insurance fraud. Promising. Charges were eventually. Ooh, broken. found a match already, huh? But you know what they say, where there's smoke, his company has a few offices scattered around there. All right, let's go talk to Brass. But the downtown branch seems to be the HQ. I'd start there. Can you check out James Ritchie? Heard about what happened to Gray. Shame. Happy to help. Uh, if you can keep it short, I have a meeting. I minutes. kind of think. Hmm. Well, There's fire. Can you locate him? Business? I don't. My obsession is sailing. You've probably already learned that Gray has a pilot's license. I think I remember hearing he keeps a plane here in town. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Well, let's, uh, thank you. I mean, thank you, James Brass. You can kiss my ass. Manage companies that design commercial airplane prototypes, and his business has been in it. Sure. He owns any aircraft. I would say, if anything, Gray feels threatened by yours truly. You know, he even approached me, begging to buy him out a couple of weeks back, as if I wanted what was left of his excuse for a company. I didn't threaten him. I laughed in his damn face. Right. How well do you know, Mr. Gray? <laughs> you can't seriously think I had anything to do with... Look, I'm not Jason Gray's biggest fan, but I don't go around burning... Down, ...even when I don't care for somebody. <coughs> whereabouts, you might check with the other one. Have you ever threatened Mr. Gray? I have no criminal record. Those charges were dropped. This is still America, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. So Where are we at the time of the fire? I have had dealings with Gray. We've exchanged our share of documents over the years. Uh, if you're fishing for those drug rumors, I won't be part of that. However I may feel about Gray, I don't intend to get involved in character assassination. Anyway, what a man does in his... So I eliminate if that's true, then I eliminate you as a suspect. Need me for something? We'll just check civil aviation records and see. Does it mean you're not a suspect? The prints were on a piece of paper. To his company. Last place it was hangered was Henderson Executive Airport. See if it's still there. Okay. Do you know anything about Mr. Grace's friends? 
Give me a second. Airline manifest confirms Richie was on that flight. Got in at 12 12. All right, thank you, sir. I'm going to go back to brass now. Tango 146. Grace. Was Richie on and one flight seven from Chicago? And then I eliminate. I guess I eliminate him as a suspect. So let's go to the airport now. Purchased not long ago from the international airport in Quito, Ecuador. Looks like our high flying exec wasn't exactly candid with us about the state of his corporate affairs. We have a man seriously behind schedule here, facing a loss of a cool million and a half. That's what we CSIs call a motive. All right. Interesting. We'll take that. Very interesting. Guess we won't be getting in there. Where's the okay? Gee, no, he didn't have motive. No, so no, 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 of course up, not. And you need the Sanders touch. Um, Without me, it's all guesswork, right? And Grissom just hates hunches. Oh, we got lockers. You know what else Grissom hates? Slow lab work. Hanger rag and the fragment from Gray's home share the same rare cotton germplasm. Species is definitely of Ecuadorian origin. There. Let's head back to the uh, crime lab now to get the shit analyzed. You guys are moving fast on this arson case. Got a new lead? Guy torched his own house, huh? Well, let's bring him in for a chat. Maybe he's just burning to confess. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think you know um, why you're here. We've gathered considerable evidence that you this rag. about the fire at your home. Cooperate. Make it easier on us, we'll make it easier on you. I've told you everything I can think of. No intention on my part to be deceptive. Alright. Let's go back to brass now. I don't know anything about that. I'm the victim here, you know. Sometimes I purchase wine when I'm down there. There's a fine local winery. So what? What am I being accused of? Drinking and driving? Ha 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 ha. In the aviation industry, jet fuel's good for killing weeds. Always keep a little in my back shed. I have a bunch of those rags. I don't know where I picked them up. There must be thousands of rags like that in Nevada. Well, it's broken glass found on the outside of your office window. What business is that of yours? My office is a charred ruin. I lose most of my key. Have you recently bought any wine from clients? South America? We have all the evidence we need to make an arrest, Mr. Gray. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to make it easy mm, for geez. Us. Do you have you access to jet fuel? Hard way. I I guess you're right. What's mm -hmm. the use? Why can You got the goods on me. What can you tell us about the rag we found in the hangar? That contract. It had been building up over the last few weeks. The pressure. Are you falling behind any contract? Office floor, you know, to suggest somebody pity me. So I busted out a window in the office. But even as I was doing it, I saw the pieces of glass tumbling onto the ground outside and realized I'd... That's everything, I think. After all that lying, don't you feel better now? Mr. Gray, we didn't secure your shed because it wasn't part of the original crime scene. Could we have your permission to check it now? To confirm your story? You need me to do that? A judge would give us a warrant easy enough, but you letting us skip that step would be another gold star in your cooperation column. That's what I'm trying to do. Cooperate. 
Go ahead. My house is your house. Gray's story sounds way too strange. Let's check this area for collaborating evidence just to be safe. This looks like a deep impression, so it may be recent. Make sure you check the handle for prints before you touch it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's go to your shed, you dick. Mm hmm. Two sets of, two sets of shits. We need worth the casting shit. We need the casting shit. Yep. Pretty slick job of casting there. Are you sure you aren't a pro at this? What about this one? Did you do that one? What about this one? I didn't click you. Fingerprints are mostly moisture. They evaporate pretty quick in the dry air around here. Means these prints are recent. But looks like we've got two overlapping sets of recent prints. If one belongs to Gray, the computer may be able to separate them in the lab. Yeah, because there's two sets of prints here. I'm trying to get this one. Yuck, that's nasty. Definitely there we go. Idea. Gotcha. All right. Let's use the L finger print for show. What do you want to bet? This thread matches the rag in the house and the ones from the hanger. Gray's confession is holding up. These are obviously the wine bottles. Ecuadorian vintage, too. <coughs> oh, can I open the frickin' door, please? Is it my charisma that keeps you coming back for more? Or just my brilliant intellect? Take a swab layer. And survey says we have a match. Same jet fuel used in Jason Gray's little indoor bonfire. Exact same composition. Once again, we have our same rare okay, cocktail. We need plasma. tweezers. Hey, keep bringing me these samples. To collect that so shit. Rare. And I see some wine bottles. We're not learning much about this thread under the microscope. Let's take it. Back to the crime lab. Nothing unusual about the threads in this rag, but there does appear to be some similarities to the other sample. Let's see. I got... Uh, Gas sample. So much for Gray being Mr. Cooperation. Prints from an 11 and a half boot. About two sizes bigger than his feet. Okay, shoe print came from a size 9 runner. 
Could We're going to use the microscope size. here. We're going to do that. But, au contraire. We separated our huh. twins and both have survived. We've got two sets of prints now. Yep, these are Gray's prints. They were entered in the system earlier. Okay. Stan Gins? Wonder if Gray can tell us why he's got a drug dealer in his backyard. All right, now we need to do the fingerprints. Make me happy. Tell me Gray's confession checks out. Sure, I can do that. Good. Am I supposed to know? I, I need to do a search. And we're going to prove it. And then last but not least. <coughs> yeah. Mm. What can I do for you? Good call. Maybe he can tell we go to brass about this now. And lying at the same time. Mr. Gins, there was a fire at the home of Jason Gray. You've been brought in for questioning on the matter. We need a... We've done some business. What kind of business? That's between me and my client. But I don't know... Who is Stan Gins? Okay. Out and about. Little walk around the neighborhood. That's still legal, right? Is that it? Oh, we need to prove it? Shit. Uh, well, okay. What can that was I do it. All right. Sure, I can do that. You've been lying to us. You see, Mr. Gray, when somebody confesses, trying to help and all, but mixes in a lot of bull, well, we get frustrated. And me personally, I get cranky when I get frustrated. But we're willing to give you a chance to put us in a better mood. What is your relationship so with you? let's play truth or dare. Just leave out the dare part. Yeah, name rings a bell. Where were you during the time of the arson, good sir? Don't get to know your neighbors like in the old days. Maybe you need a distinguishing characteristic of Mr. Gins to jog your memory. Like his what are your, what like size are your shoes? Bingo. Well, like I said, he's a neighbor. I think he might have borrowed my mower or... <sighs> Look, I really didn't want to have to get into this. Now we need to go back and Going question fucking you. Jason. Bring in fucking Jason Gray again. Thank you. Up at strange hours, and he'd bring his low-life friends along, partying at my associate. He didn't take it very well. He was really PO'd, bent out of shape. Plus, I'm sure he was high at the time, which didn't help. While I was in my office, Gins must have gone to my shed, looking to see what kind of grief he could give me. There was a knock at the door, and I opened it. And damn if it wasn't Gins, glaring at me, brandishing a blazing Molotov cocktail he'd thrown together. He was out of control. He threw the bottle, smashed my window to fan the flames, and took off. I ran out to my shed and grabbed the fire extinguisher. But then the wheels started turning. I could make the best of this bad situation if I rigged the scene to implicate Richie. I didn't want my drug problem exposed. And at the same time, I knew that <laughs> so if I implicated were Gins, fingerprints on your sure. shed. I'd be protecting myself and taking a competitor down with me at the same time. 
After the fire was out, I cleaned up the broken window, knowing I needed to make it look like a break-in to hide what had really happened. I tried to get all the bits of glass I could find and brush the dirt off before tossing them back into the office. And that's the whole sad, stupid, but true story. I tried to save my reputation. How am I doing so far? Well, both you and Gins will be going away all right. And you do have something in common. Neither one of you can hold on to his clients. We should have another chat with our friendly neighborhood drug dealer. What can I do for you? Sure, I can do that. Listen, you play with drugs, you <coughs> play with fire, you get burned. No percentage in the ladder. Hey, I said I was out catching some air. I may have walked by his house, but that's all. You know, Gray might have covered for you once upon a time. But you try to burn somebody's house down, and the loyalty gets strained. Going off on a good customer like that? You got a hot temper, Mr. Gins. Go to hell. I've got plenty of customers, but he torqued me off. Hmm. This guy thinks he's better than me. He said my friends are scum. Imagine that. I should have torched him, not his crib. Smart mouth looking down on me. And him, a degenerate doper. Thank you, Mr. Gins. That's what we call a confession around our little store. And you know how nice it is having another satisfied customer? Looks like a solid arson case against Gins. As for the high-flying Mr. Gray, he'll come down to earth with obstruction of justice, arson, and insurance fraud charges. By the way, trainee, nice work out there. But take some time to throw back a cold one after work and relax. This job can be hell on your personal life. Now, go see Grissom. He wants to see you. Sounds like you showed some yes. instinct out there. Yes. But before you let yes. it go to your head, let's take a closer look at how you did. You investigated every possible angle on this case. It doesn't happen often. You know anything about the arson at Grace Home? Did you visit Gray before the fire started? All right, before we start, we're going to look at the uh, in and out extras. So it looks like just some character designs, crime scene designs. See, we never seen any of this stuff. Why? Because I think those were the black screens. Like, we never seen any of that. But anyway, guys, that concludes Light My Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see. And if your comment turns into a video, we will feature your comment in that video. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.